Tube. Go! Water bomb! Quickly! Hello my minions and welcome back to my channel. I am Sunin Snap, but you already knew that. We are now finally continuing our adventures in Ninokuni land. And something about stopping a volcano from ending the world or something. I don't quite remember. Oh hello! Oh well, alright. Cool. Nope. Uh, bridge. What? Bridge. It's a dead end. Flip, flip, flip. You could try freezing. What? How does that work? Okay, sure. Whatever. Nani the f <laughs> Really? I can't just do a bridge? That- ugh. Jeez. Mm. Sorry, my eye itches. Whoa, that's a big one! Knickers, 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 knickers! If we don't stop the old boy from erupting soon, we can kiss our sorry behinds and goodbye! Then let's stop it. That's easier said than done, Oli boy. If my s s uh, seventh sense is to be trusted, we've got knickers. Three minutes, three flippin' minutes. Only three. Three, mon, three. So we got three minutes, I take it. Hang on. That's no time at all. Are you absolutely sure? Do I look like I'm flippin' messing about? Three minutes, I said. And three minutes, I meant. Three short minutes. Uh, are we just gonna be complaining for three minutes? Don't worry, Mr. Drippy, we'll make it. I know we will. Okay. Don't wanna be that sure. Oh, I'm not gonna make that one. Oh, there's an actual timer. Oh. Oh. There is an actual timer. Wow. I think I vaguely remember this. Time to go! I wasn't paying attention to the timer, so... Okay, 90 seconds. Oh God. Uh, quickly. Come on. There is no way. Yep. Oh, oh my God. <sighs> I don't know why I decided to give play with fire today, but come on. We get time for this. <coughs> oh, you just casually walk. Nearly there, Mon. Seems like a good place uh, as any to stop the old drippy clock. Let us see now. Let's. Uh, what? Wait, what? But I thought you said we only had three minutes. I distinctly remember you saying it several times, in fact. Well, yes, I did, but more of an estimate. See? To give you something to work towards, like, you're an asshole. I guess it helped us get us quicker, huh, Mr. Drippy? Don't enable him. Exactly! That's what I meant, didn't it? You mean us think that- Hmm. Never mind. I suppose we're here now. We better go and low. Have a look. Come on. Ugh. There are times I really don't like him. Alright. Now that we've saved, healed, we're gonna see if I get my butt handed to me. Like other previous bosses. On top of old Smokey at last. Wow. It's like it's like the end of the world. Crikey! Look at that boulder moon. It's just like I said, it would come unstuck. How the heck did that happen? How the heck is it balancing? That's my question. Wait you look. What's that? No. Yeah, Oh, 
We're going with Boob! Well, you can't hit me from here, so... Even big beasts like these have weak sparks, Ollie boy! Try to get around the back of it! Well, Esther is dead. Cool. Oh god, this character is so slow. Oh no. Oh my god. What are you doing? Oh my god. This thing is stupid. All right, Goob, go! Water bomb, quickly! Uh, hey, no! Oh, jeez. Oh, we're screwed. Oh! Oh my God, dude! Oh, -ho! sandwich. And myself. Oh my. God. Goodness gravy. Provisions, uh, I guess coffee. Who the hell is he attacking? You know what? I don't even care. Is he that much of an idiot? Quickly! Oh! Oh my gosh. Split splash! Take it to bath! Woo! Oh man! Rip. smoke has stopped, but I think we fixed it. You did it, Oliver! You saved Alma Moon! Yeah, but what about Shadar? Don't go ahead of yourself, Moon. You're nowhere near ready to face him yet. Didn't you feel the power coming off him? Terrifying it was. I was so worried he was going to steal a piece of my heart again. But he sort of let it, left us alone, didn't he? I wouldn't say that exactly. He was the one controlling the fiery guardian. And you could bet his whole mess was thanks to him and all. You really think it was all Shadar's work? 
course it was. Who else would do s uh, something so flipping rotten? I reckon we had a lucky escape. I had no idea. Thanks so much for seeing the volcano back up, Oliver. But you don't need anything, me, Esther. Of course I do. Without you, my hometown would be destroyed. You saved the people at Alma Moon from disaster. But Esther, you... You weren't exactly standing on the sidelines, were you? Don't let pure heart here take all the glory. I suppose I helped a little. You carried me. Let's be honest. Well, let's head back to Alma Moon, huh? I want to tell my father all about our adventure. Sure, let's go tell how brave you were. Alright. Oh, that's nice. Mr. Rashad! You have returned. Does this mean you have completed the trials? Yes, sir. And Master Solomon has taught us a bunch of neat stuff. I'm happy for you. But there is no time for celebrations. Wait, the city is in grave danger. The volcano is. You snooze, you lose. Don't worry your pretty little head about that. Your sage ship. We sorted out too while we were at it. You, how? It's quite a story, father. You see. So, not only did you succeed in completing the trials, you also prevented the volcano from erupting? That is quite a tale. It would seem that your potential is even greater than I had imagined. But for Shadar himself to have appeared, it seems his game has entered its next phase. I must look into this. Thank you, Mr. Rasaj, sir. Do we have to, Ollie boy? I'm flippin' knackered, man. Can't we stop here for a bit and have a nice babana or two? There's no time, Mr. Drippy. Other towns could be in danger. Mr. Rashad, I need to learn more magic. I need more powerful spells. You have proven your ability. You overcame the trials and saved the city. You're, I have nothing more to teach you. Really? You will learn more, Oliver. But you will learn much of it for yourself as your journey continues. I will? Yet, there is a limit to what can be learned without instruction. Very well. You must visit my fellow sages. And you must learn what they have to teach you. He's right, Ollie boy. Shadar is one tough cookie. You'll need to, all the help you can get if you're going to beat him. But where can we find the other great sages? Alicia, she who once fought alongside me, fell foul of Shadar. Her soul was sealed away. But there are two more. They're out there somewhere. There's useful somewhere, eh? Ta sage face. Fat lot of use you are. I do not know their exact whereabouts, but I believe one of them resides in the city of ha ha Hamelin? Hamelin? On the continent of Automonia. Automonia? Autumn Jeez. Hamlin, huh? Thank you, Mr. Rasaj, sir. Aramia. That's far away to the east. We'll need a boat to get there. So we'll need to go via Castaway Cove. It's the closest port. To reach it, you must cross the desert south of here. Cross the desert to the south. Is it far? Don't worry, Oliver. I'll show you the way. You mean... Yes, I'm coming with you. We travel together from now on. But are you sure? Of course I am. We're both fighting for the same thing, aren't we? And you already know how helpful having me around can be. You bet. But Mr. Rashad, is it alright if Esther comes with us? Mm. I know my daughter. There's no stopping her when she sets her mind on something. I have little choice but to agree. Esther, you must take, make yourself useful to Oliver. You must not become a burden. Oh, jeez. Cool. Thanks for the... Uh... Oh, damn it. What was the word? <laughs> Never mind. Of course I won't, dick. I'm a great sage's daughter. Truly you are. Then it's uh, decided. Oliver, please take care of my daughter. Will... I will, sir. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure you will too, Drippy. Welcome aboard. 
Oh, I am an afterthought, is it? Right, though. I can see how this is going to work out. Still, I suppose you do brighten the place up a bit. Go on, then. More and merrier, I suppose. Well, father, I better be going. Take care, daughter. May the ancients watch over you. Thank you, Mr. Rashad. Okay. So we have some stuff to turn in. And I've noticed we haven't visited the palace, but that's probably later. There's also something else I think I kind of goofed. Because... Um... I didn't realize I was supposed to talk to... What, um, whatever that other ghost person name, not P, the, the other one, um, to solve a riddle. So there's actually a spell I'm missing called Fade, which would have helped me out in dodging uh, Monskies, but I guess we were playing hard mode now. By the ancients, you have gathered the ingredients I ask of you. To mix them is the work of mere moments of a master such as myself. Alright, fine then. It is done. You have the honor of possessing a quantity of Sheik's most coveted special spices. What? In the right hands, I will produce a curry beyond compare. Alright, cool. Thanks. Alrighty. Back to that other person. Alrighty. Hello. Uh, Fable Tika Mahalo tastes like. Uh, what? Did we... Am I missing something? <laughs> By the ancients! I will begin at once, but in a short while, friends, you will be able to feast upon the most fable of all curries. ほんと、とっても美味しそう。もう我慢できん。お先にいただくで。そうだね。じゃあ、いただきます。ね。うん。うまっ。ビーフと野菜とスパイスが一体になって絶妙なハーモニーを感じる。ああ、man, <laughs> ふふふ。皆さん驚いてますね。秘伝のスパイスが効いていて、辛さの中にも奥深い味わいがあるでしょう。全然聞いてませんね。まあでもまだまだたくさんありますからね。どんどんお代わりしてくださいよ。もちろ
Someone has heart. I must take it. There is a chest. With this sandwich. Wait. First, spring lock. Which I have no MP for. Cool. Yay. Is it this? You're a fisherman. Yep, 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 yep. Give me your give me your courage. Hmm. Alright, onwards. Oh, that was quick. Damn it! There's no escape! Give back what you stole! What I stole? What are you on about? You do what you mean. What do you mean, what I'm on about? That great big pot! Pot? Oh, this thing? What's wrong with him, one? It's like he doesn't even remember stealing it! Huh. What the? What was that all about? Why would he steal something and then just throw it away like that? What was he thinking? I don't reckon he was thinking at all, man. How do you mean? Well, he ain't bothered what he steals. He's just stealing it. Uh, what's, what's in it for, eh? You mean he enjoys stealing for its own sake? Yes, yeah, so that's about the size of it. I'm no expert, mind. If it's really true, he's even more horrible than I thought. Never mind that for a minute. Let's get this odd pot to the peddler, shall we? He must be worried sick. He probably took something out of the pot. <laughs> what do you do? Jump in the water? Excuse me, sir. I think this belongs to you. Ah, indeed. You recovered it? Yes, we did. The thief got away, unfortunately, but we got the pot, ba pot back. Curses. I mean, is that so? Yeah, my thanks. Hmm. Crikey, don't go being too grateful, will ya? It ain't like it's flippin' heavy or anything. Forgive me, it's just that I was rather pleased to have finally rid of it myself. Eh? Huh? The man you chased, he's a habitual thief. He doesn't care for what he steals. So, as ever, I called after and stopped Thief, but when I saw what he had taken, I gave thanks to the ancients. Gave thanks for being robbed? In this instance, yes. You see, this pot, no matter how hard I try, will not open. Therefore, I cannot use it to store my wares. It's no use to me. Yes, you must take it for apprehending the thief. It's the least I can do. For giving it to us? Just like that. Hold on a second, you just told us it's flippin' useless. And now you're pretending to give do us a favor? What's going on, Mun? <sighs> Perhaps you'll think of it as a souvenir. As your visit to Castaway Cove, Jewel of the Seven Seas. <laughs> souvenir? A great big pot like this? Yes, a most wondrous souvenir. It's no ordinary pot. Rumors are to believe it was once used by an ancient royal family. With illustrious and regal history. But if that's true, we can't accept it. It's too valuable. Uh, but, but you must! It's, I'm so grateful to you. So very grateful for your help. Take it! Take it! Take it! Be gone! Okay. You said yes? What did you do that for, Mun? What do you mean, Mr. Oh my god, this kid's an idiot. I mean, he looked as if he was going to cry if we didn't take it. He's in real worried. I was worried, worried that you would think me ungrateful. Wow. Something funny is going on here. Come on, tell us, what's wrong with the pot? The wrong? D -d Nothing. It's simply the lid won't open, and now and again a spine chilling clattering emanates from it. Eh. But only once in a while. D -d don't worry about it. <laughs> So the lid won't open, but strange sounds come from inside it. What could it mean? Ah, so that's it. 
I'll be a monkey's uncle. You know why it won't open, Mr. Creepy? Nah, my it'll open. You just need to know how, innit? It's a cauldron, you see. Really? This is a cauldron? Wow. You know what it is? Yes, I've never seen one, but my father used to have one. All wizards have a cauldron, you see. They do. That they do, Ollie boy. And the reason it won't open has been sealed tight with powerful magic. But all it needs is a true wizard to say the magic words written in the wizard's companion and alakazam. The lid will pop off just like that. It will? Oliver, you should try opening it. Right now? Why not, Mon? There's no time like the present. Go on. Give it a go. Okay. Uh, let me look. Tales of Wonder... Um, rules of wizardry. A wizard shall not lie, no bear falsehood. Wizard shall not take up his left shoe before his right. What? Uh, venture out, out of doors when tempest doth rage. Okay, I don't know what that means. Ooh, okay. Um, open sesame. Okay. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, but uh, hold on. I can spell, I swear. Yeah. Alchemy. Jesus, no. Hmm. Well, yoi. Nanji ga aruji ni usawa shiki mono ka. Jiki jiki ni misasame te kure yozo. Da, dou da dou da. Samai. Oh, I am not ready for this. Oh, I am so screwed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, jeez. I guess we're gonna end today's episode on this bonkers of a bummer and I'm gonna do a bit of grinding and all this other boring crap so until then I hope to see you guys in the next one like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye bye fuck you <laughs>